good morning good afternoon and good evening in today's video i will be doing a mini makeover in the bathroom i'll be painting this back wall and i will be um framing my mirror with some crown molding and i'm so excited i'm also going to paint my cabinets so if you like this kind of stuff stay tuned Okay, so this is my first coat. <laughs> I tried my best. I've been just using like this and then like using the paintbrush to go like, I can't show, oops, and I just messed that up. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm gonna go fix that. So this is what's happening. While I'm waiting for my first coat to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the cabinet. And this is my first coat in the cabinet. I'm actually using a cabinet paint. While I'm waiting for everything to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start my project. I'm really excited about this project. I'm going to take a canvas, some fabric, some plaster, Gorilla Glue, spray paint, some rocks, and I am going to make a little canvas piece for the bathroom so i'm just making lines here to show where like i want the fabric to go and plan out where i want to place the rocks Okay, so now that I have an idea of where I want everything to be placed, I'm gonna go ahead and do the fun part with the plaster. I'm gonna add plaster, the Gorilla Glue, and the water, and um, go ahead and dip the fabric in, mix it up, and then I'm going to place it onto the canvas. And this was pretty easy. It was actually really fun. The only thing that I would do differently is that I would staple the back of the uh, the access of the fabric onto the back while it's still drying because when you wait until it's completely dry it actually like cracks and doesn't lay all the way flat so it, it's kind of like has flaws in it which is kind of cool if you like that if you kind of want a distressed look or something like that it doesn't really bother me that much but moving forward I will definitely um, secure it while it's still drying. and let it dry and voila it's the next morning it is dry I'm going to take this outside to spray paint before I do that I'm thinking about this door and I'm wanting to take it off I'm gonna unscrew this door because I want to and I want to paint this black I think a little nice I'm gonna paint the black doorknob too I mean doorknob so good black Okay, so I have everything laid out that I want to spray paint. I will be spray painting all of this black starting with the door hinges.
painting my doorknobs um they do rub off especially if you have like wet hands so i'm going to put a um a sealant on top of it so i suggest you use a spray paint with a sealant or put a sealant on you know especially if you're going to be you know touching the doorknobs and stuff like that so eventually i will just invest in replacing them but for right now i have so many doors and so many doorknobs <laughs> and light fixtures this was just an easy fix for me so i just didn't want you guys to think that you could just spray paint them and then it will be totally fine with any you know kind of spray paint but they do have some that have sealants Okay, so I'm going spray paint crazy. I decided to just go ahead and spray paint the trash can as well. Hubby wasn't too happy with this, but after he saw the result, he was happy and everything was good. So, but I'm just an instant gratification type of person. I want to see like the results right away. So I try to, to do, you know, work with whatever I have and do shortcuts. Okay, so this is what our canvas is looking like so far. I really love it. I cannot wait wait until we can make some more of these. I love um, the rocks, the way that it just kind of like came together and added a little bit of something to it. But yeah, and here are the, what are these called? Switch plates. I didn't think about how <laughs> they would be white, the actual things. But here's the trash can and how everything turned out. I am very happy with it. This is the door painted white. And I'm just going to add the um, door hinges and the doorknob. And I got this little picture frame that I'm going to use as like a tray. And the baskets from five and below. My son is going to go ahead and put up the shelving and yeah I'm really excited with how this came out it's a quick little inexpensive little makeover of course we're gonna do something more permanent um, and add things to it but this is was just something that we can do because we've been here for a little bit and I was just ready for this room to change and kind of you know and needed, needed a little pick-me-up all right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for hanging out with me. As always, blessings to you and your beautiful families, and I'll see you in the next one.